Welcome to QTopo, a new free online topographic mapping application created by the Queensland State Government. To start QTopo, type in a web browser http colon forward slash forward slash qtopo.dnrm.qld.gov.au forward slash desktop to open the application. Once the application loads, click on the I understand and accept the conditions of use in the splash screen to enter the application. To pan and zoom around the map window, either click on the plus sign of the zoom bar located in the top left hand corner of the map window. Alternatively, Move the mouse into the map window and roll forward on the scroll wheel of the mouse. To pan around the map, left click on the mouse and hold down as you move the mouse and the map around. Alternatively, click on the click here to button in the top left hand side of the map window and select pan around the map. Again move the mouse to the area of interest on the map window, left click and hold down the button as you move the mouse and the map around. To show the advanced toolbar, click on the click here to button and select the Show Hide Advanced Toolbar. The Advanced Toolbar will appear. To close the toolbar, repeat the steps by clicking on the Click Here To button and select again the Show Hide Toolbar. The Advanced Toolbar will close. Alternatively, you can click on the Tool icon in the top right hand side of the map window to toggle on or off the Advanced Toolbar option. To search for a property, locality, national park or conservation area, simply click on the click here to button in the top left hand side of the map window and select property, locality, national park or conservation area. A small dialog box will appear. To select a property, click on the lot plan option and click OK. In the next dialog box, enter a lot plan description and click on the search button. The map zooms automatically to the area of interest and additional information appears in the left hand navigation bar. To search for a locality, again select the click here to button from the top left hand side of the map window. Select locality and then OK from the dialog box that appears. In the next dialog box, type in the name of the locality of interest and click the search button. the map will automatically zoom to the locality of interest. The same procedure can be used to search for national parks and conservation parks. When entering a feature name, it may be required to enter the, the name in capitals or just select from the drop-down suggestion list to select the appropriate national park or conservation area and click search. The map will zoom to the area of interest.
To print a map from the Qtopo application, click on the Click Here To button in the top left hand side of the map window and select Print a Map. A number of options appear in the left hand navigation pane of the application. Choose your paper size. There are three options, A4, A3 and approximately A1. The approximate A1 size is the closest to the traditional printed 1 to 25,000 topographic map series. So in this case we'll choose the A1 714 by 602 mm page size and we'll choose the select a standard topographic map scale. From the drop down list select 1 to 25,000 and click the next button to continue. The next page of options appear in the left hand navigation pane. From here you can enter into the first text field window the subtitle of the map. From the second text field window enter the verification code as it is written to the left of that window. Enter your email address into the last text field and then select the required map output form. In this case we will choose PDF. Click on the generate map button to have the map created and email back to you. Alternatively you can click on the back button to correct any previous option. A dialog box will appear indicating that the map is being created and will be emailed to you when completed. Click OK to continue to use the application. Alternatively you can print the map using the advanced toolbar. Once the advanced toolbar is open and selected, the, uh, select the print tab and simply follow the prompts to create the map. Once the created Qtopo map has been received via email, select the click here to download link on the email. Once, the, once selected, the map will appear. You can save the map to your computer and rename it as you see fit. Once the map is opened in Acrobat, you can zoom around the map. The map contains the subtitle as entered in your selection process. The map also contains all of the traditional inclusions from the printed topographic map series. They can be seen along the right hand side of the map sheet.